Guys, I'm so frustrated right now. First of all, welcome back to another episode of Pixelmon. And second of all, how was your how were your holidays or how are your holidays going? Hope everybody got everything they wanted for Christmas. And if you didn't, I hope you had a fun time with family and friends. And if you didn't, I hope you had a fun time alone. And if you didn't, well, better luck next year. Um, speaking of better luck next year, maybe better luck next time for me. I actually just faced the flying gym and I totally won. And I didn't record, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I did face the flying gym, but I got wrecked, but it didn't record. I haven't recorded in like three days. So actually, let me check if this one is going. Yes. Okay, this one is actually going. Fantastic. Now that I don't need to record, I am recording. Well, I kind of still need to record. Um, But yeah, I faced the flying gym. I faced Cyan. Whew, he did not hold back. He wrecked me. I only took out one of his guys, and he took out all four of mine. Um, I did kind of throw them out. I didn't really, um, like, throw them out in the order I should have, though. I totally messed up. But I still wish I had recorded it properly so that you guys could see what I did and that we can learn and try next time. In fact, I wonder if I can, like, join the queue for the flying gym again. Um, hold on, hold on. Maybe we can try this again right now. I, I think there's, like, a two-hour limit, but... I don't know if they've changed that since they changed the, changed the new system. So slash gym join gym four. I think that's what you do. You are you are in position one for the flying gym. Okay. Notify gym leaders of gym four flying that you are waiting to be battled. Oh my god, beef is scared to fight me. What? Okay. <laughs> I guess I'm scared to fight whoever that is. Um, yeah. So maybe we can have another shot at it. I'm not sure if they're. If there's like a waiting time anymore, it was about it was only like ten minutes ago. So, um, if there if there is a waiting time, then I feel terrible about this. Uh, let's see. One guy is just constantly asking me to battle him. There's there's like a uh, an auction going on. You know what happened is the game crashed. As I got teleported into the into the arena, and then when I when it loaded back up, it didn't record for whatever reason. Maybe maybe it automatically stopped recording somehow. Maybe I hit the stop recording button. I didn't even realize. But anyway, anyway, we uh we lost. We got wrecked. Hey, look at that. Apparently there is all there is uh, there is an hour wait period. There's a boss there. Sweet. A pulpit puppetar. A pupitar. Uh, let's go ahead and Aurora beam him. I don't even know what type he is, honestly, but. He used Sandstorm. That didn't work very well. Aurora Beam is super effective. Fantastic. Let's go with Aurora Beam again. I think he's he's a uh, um, bug type because pu pupi pupi are bugs or something. Hey, I flinched. That's not even fair. So there's an hour wait period. So an hour from now, I'll try again and hopefully, hopefully, I will do a little bit better this time. Man, I'm really bummed I didn't record that. It was only like a five minute battle. I got wrecked. <laughs> uh, sweet. I got X Scissor. Waterstone and a ranch upgrade. Well, that's pretty sweet. Speaking of ranch upgrades, wait a minute. X scissors is a good one too for bug types, I think. Um Can I first of all I have some I have some wonder trades. Let's do the wonder trade five right now. Let's see what we get. Get it? Okay. Slash WT five. Wait, he's in six, right? He's in slot six. Slash WT6 confirm. I'm filling it with growlets. I got a Tortuga, a level one Tortuga. That's pretty cool. I like that. And we should actually go home. Is that another? Oh, I thought it was another boss. These guys are like blue naturally, so I didn't even. I got lucky that I didn't even notice that boss on the on the roof there. Is this uh, Onyx? What level? 38. Okay. Um, but yeah, let's go back to the house, grab an egg, because the Dittos have uh, obviously created another egg. And we're going to try to hatch that while we wait to battle the gym about 45, about 50 minutes from now. Uh. Okay. Well. Well, this is interesting. I, this, this has to be, so, oh my god. I, I believe this is a prank. And it has to be Sarah, because uh, nobody else is trusted with my plot to, like, place things, right? This has to be her. Oh, Lord. 
Wow. There, that Okay, every square inch of place, every place that a sign can be placed, <laughs> every place that a sign, except maybe here and there, but every other place that a sign can be placed has a sign on it that says, I heart, I less than three U. Wow. Wow. That's pretty crazy. Well, um, I should probably remove... Do signs cause lag? I don't think they do, right? I hope not. Hey, look, my dittos. They love each other. Whoa! I think the other ditto's right there. Let's go ahead and claim that egg. Aha! Now we're going to try to hatch it. Um, so... I'm still not 100% sure. First and foremost, I did get some comments about it. I can't remember what they said. <laughs> I can't remember if they said that this does affect it or it didn't. Um, so I'm still not sure about that. But we're going to go ahead and hatch this egg anyway. Oh my gosh, I probably should take these down. I'm sorry, Sarah, but I'm going to have to take your your signs down. This is ridiculous. Look how many signs... Oh, and then the, the lag is going to make it impossible to take down all the signs in a timely fashion. What what does it say? Yep. <laughs> It says I heart you there too. Oh my gosh. What is this? Look at this. That's kind of cool. Are they just going to pop off now or? No. I can kind of erase what they say with the lag and then they stay up. Like blank signs stay up. Look. There it is. We're going to leave that one. It's going to be a blank sign. Look at. Look at. These are all blank signs. I only think like a couple of them are going to pop off. Oh no, that one did pop off. It's about to pop off. Anyway, um, I kind of want to get going with uh, with hatching this egg. So maybe I'll take these signs down later. Oh, wow. This is, this is a little bit, this is a little much. But thanks for the prank though. This is like the first prank on this server technically. I think it has to be her, right? You have to like be trusted with my my buildings or my property to build on it so it has to be her this mod needs something to make people want to go underground I just passed by a cave and normally normally I see a cave and it's like by the way I'm fighting Jason <laughs> um he's got a Spiro now normally I see a cave and I'm like oh that looks like an inviting cave let me go in there and check it out but really you don't need really any ores or anything. Sure, you need some iron for some Pokeballs and stuff. And early on, you need aluminum. I haven't needed aluminum for a long time. So, it'd be kind of cool if there was, like... And I know, I guess fossils are something you can, like, go under and find. But you can also find fossils at the bottom of the ocean. And it's probably a lot easier than actually going and searching behind gravel walls and stuff underground. You should have... There should be underground Pokemon like Pokemon you could only get underground like geo dudes and, and stuff like that that'd be kind of cool right oh he still has another one oh he's got work up the user is roused and it's attack and special attack stats increase I'm not really interested in that how's my Taurus doing tackle tail whip horn attack and pursuit okay let's uh let's remove its attack and special attack stats increase Let's remove Tail Whip and, and use that for now. They're both status attacks. I doubt I'll use either one of them, but this Charmeleon has got to go down, though. It's level 25. He used Growl. What a loser. Horn attack. You're done. Goodbye. Oh, Jason. He's just gone. Jason's just gone. He's disappeared. Um, Yeah, I'm tr still trying to hatch this egg. It's taken a while. What I really want to do is hatch this, or not hatch, sorry, um, evolve, not evolve, level the Snorlax because... His attack sucks so bad. I might have to catch another Snorlax, honestly. He's already at level 45, and his attacks are horrible. Hi, Minun. So, um, I don't know. I don't know if I can, like, fix him. I could just give him some TMs, I guess, right? I could do that. Anyway, I'm going to keep uh, walking around. This is the best place to to level up your guys because there's also always a ch Oh, he's not, he's not, he's hurt. He, there's always a chance that you can find a ditto right it just makes sense to me the to walk around in the savannah biome uh what do we got giraffe rig let's stomp nidorino oh yeah that's good that hurt not oh and he flinched fantastic stomp him again 
should finish him off. Yeah, level 32. Oh, double hit. The user slams the target with a long tail, vines, or tentacle. The target is hit twice in a row. Um, 35 stomp, tackle, twice in a row. Is that twice on the same turn? So that would make it, that would make it more powerful than tackle. Not as good as stomp if my power, I'm going by power. Okay, let's just remove tackle. Who uses tackle anyway? That's like one of the first moves people remove, right? A legendary has spawned in a flower biome, and Ruckmas here was in a flower biome, so I asked the TP to him, he accepted, and we're gonna search for this thing together. Although this isn't a very big flower biome. I think Celebi is what spawns in the I don't have a Master Ball either, so how could I even catch it? I don't know if I could catch it with like a regular Ultra Ball or anything. So this might be it might be better that I don't find it, because I'll be very disappointed um, that I can't catch it. Uh, so we're gonna have a look around here. I'm gonna go ahead and um, wonder trade Bulbasaur. I have a spare Bulbasaur. Yeah, this is a pretty small flower biome, so I doubt he spawned here, but it could be. Who knows? Uh, I'm gonna trade wonder trade Bulbasaur. I have a spare one, so I'm thinking maybe adding a starter to the wonder trade pool is kind of a cool thing, rather than adding constant Growlithe. <laughs> I'm all out of Growlithe now, by the way, so uh, no more of those will be added. What's this? Little? Oh my God, you're so tiny! That little tiny Rattata. Oh, I saw a huge Vulpix, too. I was going to record, and then I thought, uh, they might not be interested in it. But now I'm talking about it, so I probably should have recorded it. It was a massive Vulpix. I'd never seen anything like it. Look, there's a Kadabra. Uh, I was going to throw something at it, but I'm not going to now. Hi, dude. How are you doing? Look at this tiny little Pidgey. Four. Is this somebody's house? It is. It's probably Ruckus' house. What's this say? Head straight to get to the Savannah. Uh, this is probably his place, I'm guessing. I don't think this thing spawned here. It seems kind of small. I guess it doesn't discriminate, though. It doesn't really matter. It's not the size of the biome that matters. Oh, he's got a little, like, a little arena here, too. That's kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, I'll have a look around. I doubt I'll find anything, though. And it was a while ago that it spawned, so it may have despawned already. My egg is just about hatched, and I checked, or I came across, and now I'm checking it out. Uh, this this person's house. Look at this. It's like a little sphinx. It's kind of cool. At first, from the back, you know what I, it kind of gave me an idea of what I wanted to do. I wanted to make, or I want, I shouldn't say I want, because that implies that I plan on doing it. It would be cool if maybe, look, this looks like the back of a Mareep. And I thought, oh my god, did somebody make a Mareep statue? That's amazing. I want to make, like, statue for super common Pokemon. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool. But I don't know if I have the patience for that. I gotta finish my gym first. It's almost done. I, all I gotta add is um, just, like, a, a heal room and the other side of the of the seats. That's why I'm mostly training my, my normal guys now. Because once it's done, I kind of want to open it. And, uh, and once it's open, people are going to come in there and, and fight me. So I have to have at least... Four or five normal types ready at level 55. Um, this guy's ready. He's ready to go, level 55. I locked his level, too, so he can't level up any higher. Um, so, yeah. That's why I'm mostly doing this. Oh, Lord, look at this. This is adorable. It's a little heart. A little heart of, of plants. I'm not sure why some of them aren't growing in, though. Like that one there. Why? And it looks like it's not finished yet. Anyway... Let's see if we can wonder trade this. Oh, I've been here before. I remember seeing that. Let's see if we can wonder trade this uh, this Bulbasaur. Slash WT5. He's in the fifth slot, correct? Yeah. Slash WT5. Confirm. Oh. Slash WT space 5. <laughs> Confirm. I got a mill tank. Oh man, the one time I add something de decent to the Wonder Trade um, thing, the Wonder Trade pool, I get a mill tank. <laughs> well, guess who's getting Wonder Traded in about, oh, I don't know how long. I think it's like every half hour you can do it. So yeah, we've got to like Wonder Trade. I'm also uh, ready to go for the flying gym again, but there are no flying gym leaders on now, so I can't really do that. So I'm just going to keep walking around here, hopefully hatch this egg, and hopefully it's something good. Uh, let's try stomping this Doug Trio. Ooh, magnitude. Ouch. Stomp is good, but man, he wrecked me with that earthquake. It wasn't actually earthquake, right? It's called magnitude, maybe? I don't know. 
Let's go stomp again. Nice. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and hopefully not get wrecked. Ah, he sucker punched me. Uh, let's go with Doris. Taurus is going to finish him off. He's only level 29, so he'll pick up a couple of uh, a couple of levels from this, I think. Hopefully. The Dug Trio is fast, though. Yep, there's Magnitude again. Okay, we did it. Level 30. Okay, just one level. That's cool. Boop. Oh. Oh, I don't have permission. Boop. Oh, I don't have permission. Boop. Ah, there we go. <laughs> I want to start placing every block I get from a Pokemon now. I've been, I haven't done any of this on camera. But every time I get a block from a, oh, like this, from a Pokemon, I place it down. So, I call it the, uh, the re introduction of Phantom Blocks initiative. Yeah, that's got a nice ring to it. If you think about it, all the blocks that you get from Pokemon are blocks that did not previously exist in the world. So... I am giving back to this world by putting blocks down because people lose blocks, blocks despawn, people use blocks, break blocks, and, and you know, they, they don't, they don't, they don't, they're not a renewable resource. <laughs> but I am adding blocks to this planet, that's right. It's ridiculous, I know. Look at the size of that Graveler. It hatched, guys! Your egg hatched into a Monferno! Very cool! You know what? I just realized somebody actually caught that mill tank with an Ultra Ball. How weird is that? Now, I already have a Monferno, I believe. I believe I already have a Monferno. Where is he at? Where is he at? There's a drowsy. Um, there he is. Oh, that's a Chimchar. <gasps> oh, right. The Monferno evolves into it. I think it... Okay, hold on. I'm going to look it up right now. Monferno. Monferno is... Um, I believe the Chimchar is the egg version of the Monferno. There, these Chimchars do not. Yeah, unevolved is a Chimchar. Level fourteen, he turns into a Monferno. Okay, so, um, so maybe what I'll do is I'll keep this Monferno, and maybe I'll I'll send that to the Wonder Trade. This guy, I think I'm just gonna remove from the Wonder Trade completely. He's gone. Uh, so we're gonna send this little Chimchar. Which is uh, rarer than a mill tank. This Bagon, though. Where did I get this thing? I don't remember getting this thing. If somebody sent me this. Cranidos, I remember. This, I remember. This, I do not remember. Oh, man. Did somebody sneak something in here? I wish it actually said who the original owner was. It says original trainer, Vintage Beef. But it's not true because this guy, this Monferno, um... If you go look at original trainer, it also says me, but I'm not, I'm not the original guy. So, yeah. Anyway, anyway, back to training our dudes. How about, oh, you know what? I bet, I bet we have another egg. Nope, I was wrong. No other egg yet. These dittos, though. Keep, keep producing, keep producing, guys. You guys are doing great. Now I got myself a little, nice little Monferno. I love the level one pokes. I don't know what it is about me and, and the level one pokes, but I just love them. Oh, God. <laughs> this is going to be never... With this lag, this is going to be here, like, forever. I can't believe she did this to me. I got to find out... Like, I've been to her house on here before, but I got to find out where the coordinates are in a secret way. But I don't know if she even trusted me with her property, so I guess I could just override it, though, because I've got that power. I've definitely got that power. Hey, somebody just passed by. Hi there. Bye there. Hi, Oliver. Oliver is the guy with the one nipple, a little bit off-centered with a very suspicious belt buckle. Um, I think I'm going to end the episode here, guys. It uh, doesn't look like Flying Jim is coming back on. I'm so bummed I didn't get to actually show you guys me getting wrecked. Like, it was a pure wreckage fest. Took out my first guy, then I took out his, and then he took out the next three with little to no damage from me, I think. I can't remember exactly how it went. Anyway, he had, by the way, he had a... Um, so his Arch Archops was his first one, and then he threw out a Star Raptor, and I think at one point he had his Gligar out and then ret retracted it, or, or, or I guess, um, just exchanged it. Whatever. <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, but anyway, he wrecked me. I wish I could have shown you guys. But hopefully in the next episode, I will be able to face this flying gym. 
Um, and I, I got to wait for this Wonder Trade thing to lift so I can add this Chimchar to Wonder Trade. From now on, every time I get something crap from Wonder Trade, I'm just going to go ahead and put it in the in the bin, in the recycling bin. Who wants a mill tank captured with an Ultra Ball from the Wonder Trade? Honestly. It'd be cool if I got like a shiny or something from the Wonder Trade. That'd be nice. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge, people. Start adding shinies to Wonder Trades. <laughs> I've only seen one shiny here this whole time I've played, so uh, I'm not surprised that there are no shinies to be had in the Wonder Trade. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.